everybody. My name is Jean and the name of my channel is Jean Home Decor and More. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Just like I did last year, guys, I am talking about Thanksgiving prep. So, um, I want to share with you what I'm going to make this year for Thanksgiving. So this year, I'm making a fried turkey. And the reason why I'm opting to do that instead of a, a you know, a larger turkey is because we moved here and we didn't bring our um, freezer. We left that for the uh, last, you know, the homeowners that purchased our home. So right now, I don't have a freezer. I have a small refrigerator out in my um, garage, just like a mini uh, refrigerator, but I don't have a large one. So we have a pretty sizable refrigerator, but when you are prepping for Thanksgiving, and I'm not, again, I'm gonna tell you like I told you last year, for all y'all seasoned cooks, you know the, the drill, you know what I'm talking about. So, you know, while I have a sizable refrigerator, we have uh, things in the fridge that we use for every day. So, you know, we're gonna try to eat what we can you know, up uh, before Thanksgiving so I can prepare for space. And so I'm opting to do a fried turkey in lieu of a whole turkey because after Thanksgiving day, that's too much in the refrigerator. A fried turkey, you know, it's smaller and I have a butterball fryer, so it's smaller. So we won't have as much left over. And to be honest with you, you know what? I think after about you know, Thanksgiving is like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you know, maybe by Saturday, Sunday for sure. You like tired of turkey, but we're frying a turkey this year. I got the oil for my turkey. I got my, um, the, the, uh, injector, you know, the flavor injector. So I got that today from Kroger. I forgot to show that on my foodie haul, but I do have that. I'm going to pick up a ham. Now I'm here in new in Texas. I don't know where a heavenly ham is. I have to look for one, but I'm gonna um, purchase a ham. Um, and so it will be my husband, my son, and my two little grandsons. And then my daughter lives close by with her family, so they may stop by as well. So um, I'm also gonna have candy sweets with marshmallows because I have the kids here, they love that. I'm gonna make stuffing, because believe it or not, y'all, <laughs> Stuffing is my favorite. I actually like stuffing more than the uh, turkey. And I can make some stuffing. Let me just tell you that. I can make some stuffing. So I'm going to have stuffing, mac and cheese. Not that I need it. I do like mac and cheese. But I usually make that for the um, kids. Because when kids aren't here, I don't make mac and cheese. Um, it's fattening. It's good, but it's fattening. Then I'm not sure yet if I'm going to have green beans or um, collards. Collards, of course, are, um, you know, it's a little more time consuming to prepare. Another thing is I like fresh collards and I have to know where to get them. So today I just went into Kroger just to see what they had in the way of their, um, I didn't see any green beans and I didn't see any collar. maybe collars. Maybe they're going to, uh, maybe they're getting them ready purchasing them from whatever um, supplier they get them from. So it would be nice to find like a farmer's market where you could get some fresh green beans or collars because they're more tender and they taste better. So that's the first thing. If you're making collards, you want to get them, you don't want to get them all tough, you know? So that's one thing. Then I got some cranberries because I'm going to... Um, try a different cranberry um, recipe. So I got my whole cranberries um, and I'm gonna have rolls. Then um, pies, I'm gonna do one pie, one cake, and I'm gonna make a Watergate salad. So I'm leaving the pie, the desserts up to my son because I really don't need all the uh, sweets. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna don't be easy on myself this year. So I am going to let my son, he can pick up a pie from a bakery or a cake, and I'm going to make a Watergate salad. So that will be good. And I may um, do a quick and easy meal and let you see how I make that Watergate salad because they all love it. Oh, make Watergate salad. So um, I haven't done it in a few years, but I'll do it this year. So that's what I am having for my Thanksgiving dinner. Now, let's talk 
talk about Thanksgiving dinner and where you might want to go shop. Now, um, you can go to Walmart. You can save on some things like your canned goods and things like that. You can go to Walmart for some things. Let me just tell you something about me and Walmart. I go to Walmart, the things I don't like to buy at Walmart, because they do have good prices. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all know that. But I don't like Walmart for produce sometimes. Most of the time I don't like their produce and I don't like to do them for meat. So for meat and produce, I like to go to a better store. If I could find a butcher shop, I would go there. If I could find a farmer's market, I would go there. I would opt to do that type of store. Or even, so when I was in Maryland, I would prefer to go to Safeway for produce and meat and fish, okay? Because Walmart just can't touch those stores. That's my opinion. Uh, you know, when you go to a farmer's market, I mean, you know, hey, you know, Whole Foods or whatever, it tastes better. It, you know, the food tastes better, costs a little more. But hey, but look, you know what? You get what you pay for. So for everything else, you can go to Walmart. So, you know, all these Walmart and your local grocery stores, you want to look for um, deals and take your coupons with you. Now, since I've been here, by this time, okay, because today is November the 17th, by this time when I was in Merlin, you know, on my Wednesday mailbox, it would be full with all the circulars for the grocery stores. They don't have it down here, so I guess Texans, y'all do it big. So y'all don't need no um, deals at the grocery stores. <laughs> but when you go into Kroger, because like I said, I was in there this morning. I did a video earlier on a foodie haul. I was there, so they have... Um, they have evaporated milk on sale. They have stuffing. Um, they have turkey. So I saw people in there looking for turkeys and ham and whatever have you. Um, so, you know, you want to check those stores. Now, before you even do all of that, the first thing you want to do, like, is plan your meal. Plan what you're going to have. Like, you, I already told you what I plan to have. And so, like, candy sweets. You know, th these all come, like I follow, like I already told you when I do quick and easy meals, you know, I'm not that creative in the kitchen. I'm not a creative cook, you know. I'm a cook where I follow a recipe. You give me a recipe, I can read. So you give me a recipe, I do, you know, I follow the recipe. So for my candy, now, but I do look for good recipes. I ain't even gonna share this one, but there's a cookbook out there. Oh my goodness, ooh. That's a good cookbook. But they have one in there for candy sweets. So all of the ingredients that I need for my candy sweets, which are candy yams. If y'all don't know what Southern people, y'all don't know what candy sweets are, they're yams. So um, candy sweets, they all come with ingredients. So one thing that I do put in mind is OJ, okay? So stuffing, you know, the things, the items that you want to put in your stuffing. Because different people use different things for stuffing. People put giblets in them. I don't do that, but some people do. Some people might put sausage in them. Whatever you're going to make. Now, because you say, hey, look, I'm going to make a fried turkey. Don't forget, you need the injecting stuff. You need your oil. You need to make sure you have a, your cooking utensils. So if you're making mac and cheese, you need evaporated milk if that's what you're using. So when you make your list of items, make sure you ch thoroughly check your recipes if you're following a recipe and make sure that you have everything you need. So the few days, couple days before you, uh, while, right before Thanksgiving when you're starting to cook, you don't want to have to run back and go, oh, I forgot this. You got to run back and forth, you know, and pick these things up. You know, when they go on sale, pick them up ahead of time. And again, whatever you can cook the day before or two days before or the weekend before, do that. Because Thanksgiving, you know how it is. You're going to get up early. If you're baking a turkey, you got to get up like at five in the morning, get that bad boy prepped and in the oven. Because depending upon how big your turkey is, it could take about four or five hours to cook if you're going to stuff it. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, think about the space in your refrigerator, the items that you're going to have, because after the dinner is over, you have to have a place to put all those items. 
So like again, before I had a freezer, um, you know, so I have a little refrigerator out in my garage that will hold some of my sides if I run out of space in my um, refrigerator here, which is why I opted for the fried turkey. Then you need aluminum foil, you need plastic, you know, um, plastic bags, wraps or whatever to, you know, to wrap your food up after you, um, after um, Thanksgiving is over. So I'm just kind of running through some things in my mind to kind of help you things not to forget. So don't forget, like I said, if you're baking pies and cakes, make sure that you have the right type of um, cooking pans or baking pans. You need that, okay? Um, some people make their turkey in a bag. If you're gonna do that, don't forget those, okay? Now, um, again, all of this type of stuff, better than bouillon, if you don't wanna use smoked turkey in your collard greens or your green beans, I have found that you can use this better bouillon, the chicken flavor. Oh my goodness, guys, it is so good. Now, does that mean you still season, you still add a little bit of seasoning? Yeah, you're gonna season your greens and your green beans up, but this is so good. Better than bouillon. I got this from Costco, and I wanna say it was $5.69, and it's 21 ounces, so one pound, five ounces. So these types of things I'm buying now. Now, you know, I'm going to pick these things up now. Today is Sunday. You know, next week I'm going to start picking up yams and things like that, marshmallows, the little things that I can put in my pantry. Now your perishables, you might want to wait until you get closer, you know, to the holiday to pick some of those up. If you're buying a turkey, get your turkey, if you're gonna freeze your turkey, get your turkey, pay attention to how long you're supposed to give to thaw your turkey out. Because if you don't you use the recommended time, you won't have no turkey for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I said that same line last year, but it's true. Make sure you pay attention because if you buy a big turkey, it takes longer to thaw it out. So you have to leave time and that's why I said space in your refrigerator. You know what I mean? You need to save space in your refrigerator so that your tur turkey can thaw so that you can prepare it and be in time for Thanksgiving. Okay? So that's another reason why I opted for a, um, you know, fried turkey this year. Now, um, the other thing I wanted to tell you was about um, baking pies and cakes, okay? Now, if you're going to um, bake something like you, you're going to use a Philadelphia brand cream cheese where they have a lot of um, they have a lot of recipes where you can just bake them and put them in the fridge. Those you have to do on the day before Thanksgiving, the night before Thanksgiving Day. But if you're making things like, let's say if you're making, a, um, uh, what is it? a rum cake, okay, Bacardi's rum cake, you know, because that's popular at Thanksgiving a lot. I've done that before. If you're making a Bacardi rum cake, you could do that the weekend before Thanksgiving. If you're making some pies, you can do those the weekend before Thanksgiving, that weekend right before Thanksgiving, because you don't want to be tired and exhausted. You want to be able to enjoy your company. Now, here's another thing. A lot, of guys, a lot of you guys will have company over. That's another reason why you need to make some of these dishes as what, whatever you can make ahead of time so that you're not making everything the day of. You know, when I was young, I did that. Like, I got up real early and I started making, trying to make everything at the you, at the same day, on Thanksgiving Day, by the end of that day, and I think I was like 20-something. <clears throat> Child, I was evil at the end of the day. I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh So <laughs> that's why these videos are good. For, so for people who don't cook, it's a method to the madness. You got to start ahead, you know. Think that thing through. If you have a company over and everything like that, if you are having cocktails, Buy that stuff ahead of time so that you can have it in your house, all of what goes into your fixings 
or whatever. So I just wanted to share those little tips with you, um, you know, for your Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a wonderful um, Thanksgiving holiday with your friends and family. And then I wanna just kind of take you back from when I was a little girl. You know, my mom grew up in Culpeper, Virginia. So, you know, my family, my mom had a lot of sisters and one brother. So we would all go back to uh, Culpeper to where she grew up, all her sisters. And you know what, y'all? This is, this is when I don't know what happened to this time. What happened to it? Y'all, that was one house. I want to say that house had like three bedrooms upstairs. When I tell you my mom had sisters, it was five of them. They all had kids. You know, we would go down to that house in Culpeper. Do you know it was a place nobody was tired? Every, I don't know how they made it work, the sisters and everything. Everybody had a place to sleep. Nobody was tired. We all had fun. You know, it was mass food and everything. They had a lot of food. All the sisters were, you know, contributing. They brought, you know, when we, we lived in Philly, so they brought the, you know, in the, in the trunk, they had the stuff packed up in the freezer. You know, like I said again, they had that stuff prepared. We got down there, we would have the best time. You know, it wasn't those things like, you know what, well, I got to, you coming over? Well, let me know what time you coming. And everything has to be just, hey, country people ain't do that. They say, hey, look, you know, we coming down. They brought they brought stuff with them. You know, good time. What happened to those times? What happened to them? They would just be laughing, cakes, you know, roll, homemade rolls. Now, I don't even do those. I buy Hawaiian rolls. I didn't say that. <laughs> Some people make, you know, homemade rolls. My mom used to make them, you know. You know, but again, they made homemade rolls. And because this was back in the country, it was farm to table. They did a lot of farm to table style style eating. I remember my, a time my mom wouldn't even buy meat in the grocery store. She would always go to a butcher shop. What happened to them days, y'all? What happened to them? Today, everything, and you know, my mom, she lived a long time, long time. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. If any of you have had an experience like that, when you think back on the day of how things used to be, I mean, it was just so relaxing. It was a lot of fun, you know. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And I hope your Thanksgiving with your family and friends is just as special. So with that, I bid y'all adieu. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Many blessings to you and your family. And thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. I would love to have you join the family and friends of Jean Home Decor and more. Peace out. Bye.